Morning, guys. Hope everyone's doing good. As you can see, I'm leaning hard into the mad scientist crazy hair look. Uh, I'm going to keep letting that grow out so it looks more crazy. Because, you know, why not? Uh, I wanted to give shout outs to IG and RP and a little bit to SS. Uh, you three commented on my video for the first physics combined. Um, RP and IG both gave me theories that I thought were correct. Awesome job. SS, you commented, which was great, but you can give me a theory. So I'd love it if you could go back and post a theory, or which theory you think is going to be correct, because uh, we're going to be doing the next part of that video on Wednesday, I think. So get that comment in so you can get credit if you get it right. I'm also going to have a little bit of a contest. So for those people who are watching the videos and commenting and really participating in the sciencey stuff that I'm doing, I'm going to be giving you the option to for me to make something for you. I've been doing a lot of metal work, I've been doing a lot of woodwork, this is a lot of interesting things I can make. Um, I know that some people like maybe TC would be interested in like a cast aluminum Naruto symbol, uh, so it'll be lots of uh, different things I could do for people who are commenting and participating. So. Make sure you get those comments in, and we'll see. I might be able to make some pretty cool. So for today, we are going to just do a little bit of origami. Not doing anything, any crazy science stuff. Not, you know, blowing anything up or anything, anything on fire. Just making some cool, basic origami things. I've got a little bird here. I've got an origami crane. We're going to start by making this guy today because it's nice and easy, good beginner project. So let's get started. So I don't have any origami paper, unfortunately. It's all at my desk at school. So we're just going to take a piece of notebook paper and turn it into a piece of origami paper. So all you gotta do for that is just one of my scrap piece of paper. I take it, I'll fold it end to end to make this nice right triangle. For those of you who've been learned those, or flip it over and cut down one of these lines to make a nice square. All right, so I got my piece cut. It's in this nice square, and we're gonna start folding. So the very first thing to do with just about every origami fold that you do is fold it in half. So you get this nice triangle. Now from here, what I want to do is I want to create a center line going right down the middle, right here. So I'll take, yeah, fold end to end, and then nice and slow and careful, and then make that crease all the way down. Now that gives us a nice center line to work off of, which makes it a lot easier. So from here, we're going to take this end, and we're going to fold it up. And we want to make sure the center line is matching along this fold. So fold it up so there's oh, maybe an inch, inch and a half poking up above. You see that? We want to make sure those lines are lined up right here, and then we'll crease it. Now, fold it over just like this. And that's starting to give us the bird shape. All right, so now we've got this kind of vague, like weird triangle with a little tail coming out of it. So we're gonna start folding this so it looks more like the bird. So first step is going to be take each one of these little wings and folding them down because those are going to be the wings of the bird. So I'm going to fold this down and I'm gonna try and keep this line with this sign right here. So it create, keeps, nice, keeps it nice and organized. Now I'm going to make that crease. I'm going to flip it over and do the same to the other side. Try to make that nice and straight. Match those up. Match the points up right here. Increase that. So now it's starting to look a little bit like a bird. We've got What's going to be the head here, two wings, and the tail. 
So now we're going to make the head. So we're going to fold this down. This is kind of a tricky fold. You got to open it up a little bit and just fold this down through. This is going to become the beak. You can see it makes that little beak shape. Now it's looking more like a bird. And the last step is we're going to take these wings. We're going to fold it down just to give it a little more, make it a little less two-dimensional. Fold that one and fold the other wing the exact same way. And that gives us our bird. Nice and simple, easy to make. You go up and down the wings, flap a little bit. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like that video, I'll probably end up doing a few more origami folds. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys.